Series recap in E minor. Series recap with Justin. <laughs> Time All right. for him to talk more. I'm going to try to talk more. <laughs> All right, everyone, and welcome to the Foundry Recap edition. And um, so, as you guys know, today we wrapped up our series of Why We Worship, part three. And we're unpacking the song Reckless Love, which was a lot of fun. So hopefully uh, you guys have been using the devotionals um, this past few weeks that we've been in the series. And you've been just really diving into the lyrics we're actually singing together. So with that said, Eric. One thing <laughs> remains. It's a sermon recap. Oh, okay. One thing. All right. Today's sermon recap, we talked... Uh, out of Luke chapter 15, really the three stories, the stories of the sheep, the shepherd who left the 99 to save the one, the story of the woman who turned her house upside down searching for the coin, and the prodigal son. And really what it does is it details for us the reckless love of God. It tells us that God has ever been searching for us as we have wandered away and gotten lost, God has sought us. And in the end, that really is the sermon recap for you guys to know that God's searching and desiring to connect with you and know you because he loves you. And his love is not passive. He has sought you every day of your life, even before you were born. Before the sermon may smoke, Hopefully this music's getting you guys in the mood for these questions. That's what it should be doing. So after you guys just got done reading uh, Luke 15, this is our first question for you. In this series, we have looked at three reasons we have for worshiping God. First, because he is holy. He is God and he made a way for us to approach him, boldly approach him. Second, we worship him because he is sovereign. His ways are higher than our own and we can trust him. Lastly, we worship because he loves us dearly. Which of these ways prompts your heart to worship the most? Which of the three stories do you identify with most? Are you a sheep, coin, or prodigal? Question three. God, not a sheep. God loves us. <laughs> like, yes, you're right, it is hard. <laughs> God loves us like a good, kind father. Does this image make sense to you, or is it hard to understand? Question four. Read Psalm 139 as a group, but have each person write down the sentence that stands out to them the most. Question five for you guys tonight. Matthew chapter five, verses 14 through 16 says this. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. We don't do good deeds to bring honor to ourselves, but to bring glory to God. How is living out your commission as the light of the world an act of worship? So this is our last uh, sermon recap for this season. Full summer season. So until the fall, um, this is the last one, which I think it was the best one. It was awesome. If, in well, my opinion. But, that kind of is an insult to me. But uh, well, I think it's the best one. I'm going to let it I've shine. seen them all. All right. And so uh, and just a reminder that the service times for this summer uh, are going to be 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. on Sundays. And Monday night, hashtag see Monday is at 7 o'clock still. So make sure you guys invite your friends out. Have worship together, food together. Worship together, the most important thing. Don't let Satan it out. I'm going to let it shine. Don't let Satan it out. I just did a gun sign. <laughs> Would you do a candle or a gun? Oh, it looks like good. Let's try it again. <laughs> I'm like, that's too perfect. <laughs> this has been an awesome series of worship. Justin, you guys have done a great job with it. We hope you connected with it and see the value in the scripture within our worship songs and the importance theologically of it. We're super excited for Joseph coming up. Oh, yeah. 9 and 11, starting it's June 3rd. So if you're able to attend on Monday night, that would be awesome as well. Um, I think that's about it. 
I think we're signing off. Yeah. Until yeah. Um, September when we start doing these again. Sad face. Ground control to Major Tom. Going to summer <laughs> countdown. Don't go too far, it's gonna break. Uh, we were supposed to walk oh, with me. Oh, okay. Ground control to major time. Walking closely, engines <laughs> on. Have a good summer. <laughs> That's awesome.